Okay, I have just uninstalled the backend on my PC to show you how can we install this together, right? So basically, if I I have uninstalled using this command, you don't you just don't need to care about this now. But if I try to write sim now, it's gonna tell me there is an error. We can't really define what you mean by sim. Okay, so let's see how can we install this. First of all, you're gonna go to this is the actual web page you're gonna click on download and you're gonna download a folder called symbolic 2.8.0 tard gz okay so you're gonna have this winrar like have it whatever you want i i just transferred or moved it to my desktop okay so download the folder and keep it here all right notice something that it's it's telling you that this library or, or toolbox it's not going to run unless you have a dependency called python and simby so you can do one of two things you can install python separately and simby separately or you can install something called anaconda basically anaconda is a distribution that contains python and simby together at once okay so you will go to this website and just click on download and make sure that you choose the latest version which is python 3.7 do not do not choose python 2.7 it's not gonna work okay so pick python 3.7 click download or click the 64 pick graphical installation all right once you have this installed or downloaded all right so i have downloaded the anaconda installer the 64 bit graphical installer so i'm just gonna open it for you i have already downloaded i have already uh excuse me i have already installed this but there's one thing that i want you to to see before you install this anaconda um distribution so you're just gonna basically click next i agree if you have multiple users in your desktop um, or if it's only you that are using your laptop then just keep it just me if you have multiple users you're gonna give uh, you're gonna press on this all users tab right so I'm gonna say next next uh, leave the default uh, directory for the installation or the destination folder as it is right it is not empty I'm just gonna change it because I already have anaconda installed on my pc at this place but you can leave it as it is all right so i'm just gonna click anywhere let's go to d and then make a new folder all right click. all right whatever yes this is the most important part here okay if you have this screen in front of you click add anaconda to my path environment variable this is extremely important if you didn't click on this option here if you didn't check this it may not recognize that you have installed python in your machine all right so just make sure that this is checked and embark on your installation i'm just gonna click cancel because i have this already installed all right don't forget about this when you're installing anaconda and you're good to go Alright, Anaconda is now installed and I told you to download this symbolic packet using this download button. If you have downloaded the folder, the easiest place that you can place it together is at your desktop. If you have a folder, a specific folder that you want to place this folder inside, it's totally up to you. The thing is, when you open Octave, you need to navigate to this folder. So I'm going to navigate to the folder that contains my symbolic package that I have just downloaded, which is in this case my desktop so I'm gonna select my desktop right now in the file browser I am in my desktop right so you can see clearly that this is our symbolic package folder which is symbolic 2.8.0 tar.gz right this is our guide do not double click it just leave it there and go to the command window I'm just gonna let CLC and I'm going to write the following to install the package pkj install or package install symbolic right after the install keyword that you have tied here write the same name of the folder that you have just downloaded right so in this case the name is symbolic dash 2.8.0 point tor point gz all right okay so if you have this line 
then this means that the package has been successfully installed in our machine. But if you try doing something like sim, just to test if the Octave is going to recognize the word or the keyword sim, it's gonna tell you that it's not un it's it's undefined. It's not it's not yet to be uh, loaded, as this statement actually says. It's telling you that you have installed it, but you have not yet loaded the function or the library. So in order to load the library of the toolbox, you're just gonna say package load symbolic. Okay. All right, and then. Now let's try and use the symbolic toolbox. Let's say something like um, three over four. Okay, don't worry about the warning. The most important thing that it tells you that you have the version of the symbolic uh, package version of 2.8.0, right? And it's gonna tell you that you are trying to print the fraction three over four. This means that we have successfully loaded, installed and loaded the symbolic package. Okay, there's one problem, and I'm going to tell you how to solve it, and if you're fine with it, then that's totally fine. The problem is, once you load the package, the package is going to be loaded in this running session, in each running session, meaning that now Octave is opened, right? So I can use the symbolic toolbox just as I please, like let's say just X, um, I don't know, maybe uh, 2 over 7. I can use it as much as I please, right? And you can add the second argument here just to make sure that the warning will not appear to you, right? So this is a running session for Octave. If you close the Octave and you try to open it once more time, all right, let's try to open it again. And now try to use the symbolic package. Try to do something like 3 over eight or anything it's gonna tell you that the same error will appear again it's gonna tell you that you have installed it but you have not loaded the package yet so every time you cl you close octave and you open it meaning that you open a new session it's gonna tell you you need to load the package at the start of, of the session so before maybe you have some script that have this symbolic package used somewhere before you run the script, you need to make sure you need to make sure in the command window that the package is loaded. So either you go to your script at the beginning of your script like this and say something like um, package load symbolic, the thing that we have written beneath just a moment ago, or every time you open Octave, you go to your command window and say package pkg load symbolic. Right now, if you try to use symbolic toolbox, it's gonna give you this warning and it's going to run successfully. I know it's kind of pain for you to like load the symbolic toolbox every time you open Octave. That's one solution. I told you the other solution is to include this package load symbolic at the start of your code. Like just write it there. G load symbolic and your code should be at the following line right where you're going actually to be using the symbolic toolbox that's another solution the third solution which is basically the most comfortable one to me and the most flexible one is to load this package um, whenever octave is starting up so whenever you're starting octave this package will be loaded how can you do something like this Let's just do the following. Do the exact same steps that I'm going to do right now. All right, we're gonna go to Octave and I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to save it as start up. All right, start up like this. Save it. Now I'm going to save PKJ of PKG. The first argument is going to be load, comma. The second argument is going to be symbolic. All right. Now save this. And now you can, I believe you can close this file. I saved it in my, in this folder. So I'm just going to save it on my desktop just so you can see what's going on.
right so I'm going to save this startup.m on my desktop this is the file that we have just created okay now we can go to my desktop and you'll find it here startup.m okay so I'm going to close it you don't need you need you don't need to close it but just let's take this file right once you have this file that has only one line inside of it which is package open parentheses load in the first argument and um, symbolic in the second argument now click right click and just click on copy right go to your PC on your local disk C right and see where is Octavius installed and Octavius installed is basically in, 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 in its uh, individual folder that is named Octave in your local disk C just double click on it right click here go to your main GW64 and click on share now come to Octave go to 5.1.0 which is the version of your uh, Octave and click on M go to your folder that is named startup and paste this startup file that we have created this just open it in front of you to remind you what does it contain it contains only one line which is loading the package symbolic all right so you copied this file in the startup inside of M inside of 5.1.0 let's just go like three steps uh, earlier and go to Octave here now this time we are going to pick site folder then then I'm going to pick M I'm going to pick the folder startup and I'm going to paste this startup file there too okay if you have done this just click X close any sessions opened for Octave okay refresh your PC and run a new session of Octave GUI now without loading anything without loading the symbolic package just try to run the symbolic package like this writing any type of numbers okay it's gonna work right so this third method or this third um, alternative that I've just shown you th this will guarantee that whenever you open Octave let's, like let's say that I will close it now and I will open a new session every time you make a new session symbolic toolbox is going to be recognized okay so you don't need to manually load the package at the start of every session that you um, that you open for Octave or you don't need to go to your script and in the head of your script you don't need to write package load symbolic every time you make a new script that contains the symbolic uh, toolbox functions okay so you have three ways to do it just pick the one that suits you better and this is it